Hello, good morning, guys. How are you today? Good morning, teacher. Good morning, teacher. Good morning, teacher. Good morning, teacher. Good morning. Nice to see you and thank you so much for joining. And let me start sharing the screen. Let's see. Do you see my screen now? Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. Thank you. So, uh, yesterday I gave you a little bit of vocabulary about like birthday celebrations and everything. So, I want to ask you like this question. I told you that we were going to start with this specific question. How do you spend your last birthday? So, I want you to share with the class how do you spend your last birthday or maybe the previous birthday. Uh, let's start with Mr. Walter. Tell us, Walter, how did you spend your last birthday? Oh, in, in my, uh, my last uh, birthday, I woke up at 7 o'clock. Uh, in the evening, I spent time with my best friend in the park. Uh, in the night, I... Uh, my family and me had a party. Uh, we ate a uh, pupusa and uh, we ate a, a cake. Okay, that's it? Yes. Okay, very good. Good to know, uh, Walter. Just uh, two recommendations. The pronunciation of tarde is evening. Okay, evening, the okay. evening, and for night, we always say at night, okay, at night, knowing okay. the night, okay? Thank, Thank you, Walter. Diego, tell us, how do you spend your last birthday? Okay, my last birthday, um, I was so very nostalgic, and uh, with my mom and my, and my brother, and I was doing uh so many things like and uh, my mom and my my brother is uh, his, his um is sing to me and uh and later um we go no we we went to we went to to Benigas to to celebrate my birthday. Okay, and what do they sell in Benigas? What? What is it? What do they sell? I mean, what do you eat in Benigas? Is that Chinese food or or what uh, do they sell? It's too many things right there. It's like bowls, like chicken oh, and okay. pasta too. It sell. There's salad and meats, some meats and hamburgers too. Yeah. Oh, okay. So they have a variety of a variety of of yeah. food for you to choose. Is it expensive? Um, maybe like a bowl can for chickens like six six dollars one. Okay. So 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 like so so expensive. Okay, it's affordable. We can say, yeah, okay. Yeah. And what did you eat that day? That day, I, I ate um, a spaghetti, a oh. spaghetti like with, with, with onions and mushrooms, like that. Oh, okay, okay, mm -hmm. excellent. Thank you for sharing okay. that with us, Diego. What about you, Dora? Tell us, how do you spend your last birthday? Okay. In my last birthday, I was pampered by my husband. And he woke me around the six in the morning, singing to me the morning song of the Topoyillo Mouse. And my family and close friends filed me a lot. Of, and my husband, my husband took me to the beach for lunch. I wanted to have fried fish. Okay. And for my birthday, I didn't want cake. 
but I bought ice cream. Ice cream, okay. Yes. You don't like cake? No, teacher, because my husband uh, had his birthday two weeks before. Before, ah, oh, okay. So too much cake, right? Uh, yes. Okay, okay, very good. Uh, thank you so much. Dora, let's work a little bit more in the ED endings, okay? In the correct pronunciation for ED endings, okay? Eh, alguien cercano sería closed, closed friends, all right? Porque las reglas de los ED también aplican para los adjetivos, okay? okay. okay. Thank you. Um, now, let's see. Glendy, tell us, what do you do for your last birthday? Or how do you spend your last birthday? Okay. In my last birthday, I was partnered by my, my mother and my boyfriend. They gave me gift. I went to eat my favorite food. And I received congratulations on social networks, on Facebook. And my relatives called me. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Glendy. Uh, what about you, Caro? What do you do for your last birthday? Um, in my last birthday, I was pampered by my family. Um, my husband was working, so he couldn't buy me a cake. But yeah, my mom, yes. Um, but he sent me a gift with his friends um, and then I went to my favorite restaurant with my friends and some people post pictures with me on Facebook. Okay, okay, very good, excellent, Caro. Let's see, mm -hmm. now I want to hear Magali. Tell us, Magali, what do you do for your last birthday? Okay. Um... I felt happy and ate my favorite food. Um, my mom prepared pre prepared dinner. Prepared. Prepared prepared dinner. dinner. And I don't like cake, but um, I ate French fries. And neither I don't like hose. Do you <laughs> like what? I'm sorry. What? Do you don't like what? Hugs, abrazos, hugs. Oh, hugs, hugs. Uh -huh. okay. and, but my family spoiled me a lot. And I received congratulations and on social media. Media, and social media. Media, okay. And my family and friends posted picture with me. Okay, okay, excellent. Uh, okay. I thought I was the only one that doesn't like cake, but I'm happy to know that some of you don't like cake either. I thought I was a weird person. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you, Magali. Uh, let's hear Susana. Tell us, Asu, how do you spend your last birthday? Um, okay. First, I remember my mom saved me a serenade. Uh, then I prepared my favorite breakfast. Uh, also, I, I went to the supermarket to buy a, a cake for me. Also, I bought a new cloth and I bought my favorite food uh, to share with my, my mom. And then I received a congratulation on social media from my, my friends. And then uh, when I was cutting the cake, my mom got me got my face full of cake. Okay. That's it. Okay, very good. And what's your favorite food, Asu? Uh, my favorite food is Chinese food. Oh, Chinese food. Okay, so that's what you ate for your birthday? Uh, yes. Okay, excellent. Very good. Thank you, Asu. Uh, just as a recommendation, let's try to exaggerate a little bit more the sound for the ED words, okay? Okay, okay. Thank, thank you. you. Um, now, Rosibel, tell us. How do you spend your last birthday? Mm, good morning. Uh, morning. For, um, for my last birthday, I was pampered, pampered 
by my husband. Uh, he bought he bought me a birthday cake. Uh, I received received a gift and bread rolls. Uh, my family, my mom, my dad, my and my brother and my husband. Uh, Sang me happy birthday. If for the dinner I ate mm, a grilled chicken rust, and I received very congratulations on social media. Uh, my brother and my two sisters post a uh, picture pictures with me. That's okay. It. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Rosibel. Remember the past is post posted. Okay. Posted. Let's work on the on the EV sounds, please. And let's see, Kevin, tell us how do you spend your last birthday? Yeah. Good morning, teacher. Morning. Uh, well, I remember that in my last birthday, I was pampered by my family. And also uh, in the morning I didn't do any special because I was study but when I was uh, when I was studying I remember that my mom uh, was cooking one of my favorite things and she made lasagna for lunch and I also remember that I received uh, a couple of presents by my friends and also, a couple of friends in, in the afternoon came to my house and also received congratulations on so social media. And some of my family and a couple of friends posted uh, pictures uh, with me. And I remember uh, my Father at nine uh, brought a birthday cake. Okay, okay, excellent. Thank you for sharing that with us, Kevin. Now let me hear. I did. I did tell us how do you spend your life your last birthday? Okay, hello. Uh, in my last birthday, uh, on my night. I went to Santa Rosa. I was tired with my uh, old university friends. And we had lunch together. And then I charged a dessert with another friend in San Miguel and went, uh, and went back home. At night, I went to dinner with some friends um, and finally I broke the birthday cake and we drank coffee um, I received a congratulation uh, on whatsapp uh, but I laid to respond uh, and <clears throat> that's all okay Okay, very good. Thank you, Aide. The pronunciation of recibir in past would be received. Okay, I received. Received. And esto de que se tardó en contestar, eh, late es un adjetivo, okay? No es una acción. So the correct form would be um, I delay. No sé si delay me dijo o late, porque yo late le escuché. I late, okay. but with ed. Okay, pero late si lo pone así, no sé si así lo lo quiso decir como se lo puso en el chat. Ajá. Uh -huh. No, but late es un adjetivo, o sea, eso describe algo. Okay, I am late, o sea, soy tarde. All right. Entonces para yo es decir que yo me tardé en responder sería um I got the lady in you can say answering 
así. I got delayed in answering the text messages, for example. Okay. That will oh, be the okay. correct form. Thank you, Aite. And let okay, me see, okay. uh, Xiomara, tell us, how do you spend your last birthday? Hi, good morning, teacher. Morning. Uh, on my last birthday, I spent on a bath. Uh, also bought two uh, dresses. And um, with my boyfriend, we visited a beautiful place. We went to a lake and we had a lunch in that place. I received congratulations on my social media. That's okay. It. Okay. 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 Thank you, Samara. Thank you. Now let me hear Nidalin. Tell us, how did you spend your last birthday? Uh, in my last birthday, uh, my family and I went to Plaza Mundo. I don't remember why, but we, we went. And in Plaza Mundo, I, I, I was talking and, and I, I, I saw the perfect birthday cake and I bought it. Uh, my family was very angry because I, I bought the cake. They they wanted to avoid a cake for me. What, what and what type of cake did you buy? Uh it was a cake of almond cake. Oh almond the cake. cake. Of almond cake. Yeah. Oh, okay. uh, uh, in the afternoon in our house, we uh, was preparing. Uh, preparing. We were <laughs> every, preparing. Prepa uh, everything for for my little celebration. And I realized that I forgot the uh, candle. Candle. The candles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, and what I, do you do? And I, I, I look for I look I for, look for um, one candle but I didn't find uh, one at the house. Okay. Do you buy a yeah. candle in the store? Um no. <laughs> No, so you 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 eat you ate your 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 cake with no no candles. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I understand. Thank you, Natalie. Okay. And let's see, last person, Rodrigo. Tell us, how do you spend your last birthday? Okay, teacher. Um, on my last birthday, I remember that I did not many things. It was. A very normal day. I received congratulations from my social media, um, from my family. And lastly, at night, I remember that I I ate cake with my parents and my brothers. It's sort of okay. Okay. Thank very you. good. Thank you so much for sharing. Francisco, tell us, what do you do for your last birthday? Uh, I got comfort by my wife and my son. All day I remember also my birthday cake. It's a uh, chocolate and thank you. It uh, was um, a chocolate cake. Yes, uh, it was a chocolate. Uh, they were giving me a beautiful day by my family and friends give me a, a happy birthday and receive some presents but before they they will give me my favorite food and much more friends post me on social media. Someone of they uh, upload picture with me and I remember too that many friends did make me a video call and that's it. Okay, okay, very good. Francisco, let's 
exaggerate the ed sounds okay because when okay. you when you mention the word in past um i don't really hear the ed ending so it's important to exaggerate it a little bit more okay okay Thanks. okay very good okay guys so thank you so much for sharing your experiences with the class now we will have actually a ed endings review and we will be watching a video okay give me one moment hold on okay it is just a three minutes video let me share the sound this is a video that you can actually find in the platform as well about ed endings because i feel that we are having um a little bit of difficulties exaggerating the ed endings so we will reinforce this part and please pay attention to the video. You know about regular verbs. Remember, regular verbs are the ones that end in ed. But did you know the proper pronunciation for regular verbs in the past? Let's learn about that today. Okay, very good. So, give me one second. So, remember, guys, pronunciation of ED. Who can tell me what is a voiceless sound? 
a voiceless sound? Who remembers what is a voiceless sound? When we have vibration. Vibration. Where do we feel the vibration? Where do we feel the vibration? Z. Okay, very good. But where can I identify if the sound has vibration? In which part of my body do I feel if I have it's vibration? Throat. In your throat, this part, in your throat, your vocal cords, okay? Thank you, Asu. Who can tell me what are the voiced sounds? The voiced sounds? Francisco, what are the voiced sounds? Esto estaba queriendo recordar ahorita, pero no, no lo okay, tengo. Okay, you're in your cell phone. That's why you're not paying attention. All right. No, uh, Nidaline, what are the voiced sounds? Uh, Nobody? Mm -hmm. Like, the song that she is in the, the video. Like, okay, but what okay. are voiced sounds? <laughs> okay, guys, ¿cuántas veces hemos visto los voiceless and voiced sounds ya en la clase? I think that three times. Um, ¿Quién me puede explicar cuáles son los voiced sounds? The ones that have vibration. Exactly. Voiceless. No vibration, voiced vibrations, right? So if the if I have a word, if I have a verb that ends with a voiceless sound, what is the pronunciation of the ed? What is the sound for the ed? Like a t. T, exactly. Okay. So who can give me examples? Love. Love. Okay. Cold. 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 No. Cold no. is voiced. It says voice. Okay. Okay. For voiceless, work. What is the pronunciation, Walter? Word. Work. Very good. Um okay. more examples, guys. Rodrigo, one example. Walt. Walt. Ya dijeron Walt. Another example. Watch. Okay, Light. watch. Like. Yeah. Very good. Those are help. voiceless. Help. Okay, help. The pronunciation will be helped. What about the voice sounds? Who can give me examples of the pronunciation with ED for voice sounds? Need. I'm sorry, Magali. Need. Read. Need. No, need, sorry. Need is with ED. Esa sería la tercera regla, need it. All right? Uh, um, it conceded. I'm sorry, Asu. Conceded. I'm sorry, I don't get the word. <laughs> Consider? Conced yes. Oh, consider. Consider, considered. Yes, that's correct. Another example? Call. Call, exactly, call, called, pay, paid. Well, but pay actually is irregular because it changes. Sería play. Play, play, sería el past, played. Okay, very good. Um, Let's see. Now give me examples with the ED sound. Examples with the ED sound? This city. Visited, needed. needed. Exactly. What else? Waited. 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 Very good. Exactly. So, guys, we can understand the rules and know the rules and memorize the rules, but the real challenge, el, en realidad el reto es en que es cuando estamos hablando, when we're talking, that we pronounce it correctly. That's like kind of the challenge, okay? In the evaluation for basic three, so the basic three, a pre-intermediate, que sería el siguiente nivel en el que ustedes estarían, el pasado, 
y la pronunciation in past es básicamente el 50% de su evaluation. O sea, si no manejamos el pasado y si no manejamos la pronunciation, no pasamos. As simple as that, okay? So my advice, guys, is please practice. Dedicate some time to the simple past. Um, if you practice, you will master it. Si practica, créanme que lo van a poder manejar, pero si no lo practican, entonces no le va a salir. Hay que dedicarle tiempo, hay que poner atención, hay que ver videos. You can watch tutorials, you can um, record yourself to listen your pronunciation. So please, guys, this is not like, like a game. Eh, las evaluaciones son ya la próxima semana. Van a ser el... Empiezo el martes. And just to let you know, yes, martes 20 empiezan las evaluaciones. Son interviews, one-on-one -on -one interviews, face-to-face, -face, like with me. Yo les voy a hacer las entrevistas. And of course, the main core va a ser el futuro, que es lo que vimos, el simple future with will o con going to y el simple past. So 50% is future and 50% is past. Si maneja solo el futuro, me lo dice bien, pero el pasado no, entonces va a tener cinco en su evaluación. So please, let's consider it uh, to study a little bit more. Las evaluaciones van a empezar el 20, van a terminar el 23, porque el 21, se lo voy a mandar también a WhatsApp para que todos estén enterados, pero el 21 yo tengo una cuestión médica y no voy a poder dar la clase. Y el 22 me ha suelto. Así que hasta el 23 terminaría las evaluaciones y ese sería el último día de clase del módulo. ¿Ok? Así que 20 empiezan las evaluaciones. Si usted el 20 se evalúa y pasa, pues. It's not necessary that you connect to the next class, pero tenga en consideración que si no se conecta, pues no existe. ¿All right? Eh, y finalizaría el 23. ¿Ok? And the interviews are face to face. Me refiero a la cámara, right? Um, Just with me, nobody else will evaluate you. I will evaluate you. The questions are easy, but the target is simple. That you handle simple future, that you handle simple past, y que lo hagamos muy bien con la pronunciation de y de Esas son las tres cosas principales que voy a manejar, que vamos a ver. Y como les digo, si falla en los y de pues su score va a ir bajando. Necesitamos ocho para pasar, ¿ok? Si no nos sacamos ocho, entonces no pasamos. And another thing, now that I remember, I want to show you how the course chat look like. Let's see. I was uploading this course. Incluso ayer estaba, pues, dándoles tiempo para que terminaran la platform y todo. Y su cuadro de notas se ve así. Esto, estas partes de acá son el, este es el 50% que es teórico. ¿Qué es la teoría? Eh, esa fue la primera tarea que les dejé, que si no me equivoco fue un quiz. Las, el segundo quiz se lo voy a mandar esta semana. Estos exámenes 1 y 2, 3 y 4 y examen 5 son los de la plataforma, ¿ok? Y luego tenemos el porcentaje de la plataforma. Ok, esto obviamente se saca hasta que usted termina el, el curso, o sea, la otra semana. Veo bastantes ceros de gente que no ha hecho los exámenes y quiere decir que si hay cero aquí, no le va a ayudar en el score final, que sería el promedio. El examen oral 1 fue la presentación en Future que hicieron de How the Future Will Be Like y el examen oral 2 es el que van a tener este próximo viernes. El final oral exam es la entrevista que van a tener conmigo. Y todo esto forma parte del 50%, o sea, del otro 50% de su nota. Class participation, sí es cierto, bueno, es un 5%, pero si usted participa en todas sus clases, es seguro 10. Si usted no participa, pues ahí va bajando la nota. Um, please, guys, metámosle a esto. Tengo un montón de ceros aquí, esa gente... Se fue con cero porque no me han hecho esta, estos exámenes, no me entregaron esa tarea, no me hicieron examen de la unidad 1 y 2 y no he hecho examen de la unidad 3 y 4. Les falta este que lo tienen que hacer la próxima semana y es parte, de, es parte del curso. Por favor, pónganse las pilas. Remember that this is a one-time opportunity. No están pagando nada por este curso, así que creo que es importante que le pongamos un poquito de empeño. 
para que pues podamos pasar al siguiente nivel, porque no se repiten cursos. O sea, si usted no pasa en básico 3, se va a quedar en básico 3 y ya no se le va a dar la oportunidad de repetir el nivel. Ok, así que por favor, eh, help me with that. Remember that I cannot complete the exercises or the exams for you. Yo le puedo aclarar puntos, le puedo enviar explicaciones de una manera diferente si hace falta. Eh, los que me han escrito saben que soy bastante open a ayudarles en ese caso, pero ya hacer los ejercicios y la responsabilidad es una parte que les corresponde a ustedes. Ok, so, y the endings. Remember that we use the ED just for regular verbs in past, solo para los verbos regulares, okay? So now we will have a ED endings reading practice, okay? We will have two paragraphs. This is the first one and this is the second one, okay? I'm gonna have some of you reading this paragraph to listen your pronunciation and to give you feedback, okay? Because this is as I said, very, very important. Let's just start with Magali. Magali, read the first paragraph, please. Esther. All the paragraphs. Yesterday was so busy busy. At, the office. busy at the office. I worked hard with my team. We developed, developed? Developed. <laughs> developed and new adverts. Tyson, a plan or meeting last lasted lasted okay about two hours. I remember an advertising plan, advertising advertising plan that worked five years ago, and I suggest suggested suggested we tried that again. We needed to get the manager's approval. Approval, approval, okay. So, everybody help me. What is the pronunciation of this word? Word. 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 Exactly. What is the pronunciation of this word? Develop. 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 We did develop. Develop. Okay. Develop. Si le quitamos el ed, la, el, la palabra is develop, termina en p. The P sound. Ese es un voiceless o un voiced sound. Develop. Voiceless. voiceless. Ok. Entonces, si es voiceless, termina con T. Developed. Ok. We developed. Then we have este. Last. Si le quitamos el ID, termina con T. Last. Y la regla dice que si termina con T o con D, entonces solo le agrego el ID sound. So the pronunciation will be lasted, okay? Uh, do you know what is the meaning of lasted? Well, last? Last. Last, sí significa último, pero last como acción significa durar. Por eso dice, our meeting lasted two hours. O sea, nuestra reunión duró, okay? Two hours. Uh, the movie lasted one hour and 30 minutes. O sea, duró, duración de algo. Okay, remember, what is the pronunciation of remember in past? Remember, 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 uh, ED, remember, the, 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 remember, the, con D. Okay, um, okay, it's a word. Okay, suggest, quitémosle el ED, termina con T. Sí. Entonces, ¿cuál es el sonido? Suggested. Suggested, exactly. I suggested we try that again. Need, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Needed. 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 Exactly. We need the manager's approval, la aprobación. Okay. So, uh, Magali, please read the paragraph one more time. Ya escuchamos la pronunciación correcta. So, let's read it one more time, please. Okay. Solo la palabra advert, advert, advert advertising. Advertising. Okay. Advertising. Yesterday was a uh, Busy at the office, I worked hard with my team. We developed a new advertising plan. Our meeting last lasted lasted about two hours. I remembered remember the 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 con el D. Remember it. I remembered an advertising yeah. plan that worked five years ago, and I suggested we try. 
that again, we needed to get the manager approval. Manager's approval, okay. One more time, Magali, sin mistakes, let's go. Okay. <clears throat> Yesterday I was so busy at the office. I worked hard with my team. We developed a new advertising plan. Our meeting lasted about two hours. I remembered an advertising plan that worked five years ago. And I suggested we try that again. We needed to get the manager's approval. Okay, beautiful. Thank you. Rosibel, your turn. The same paragraph. Uh, we we yes, call yes, sir. Al mismo. No, no, the same paragraph. El primero. Uh -huh. Yesterday uh, was so busy at busy. the office. Busy at the office. I worked I worked hard with my team. We developed a new ad, adverse, advertising. advertising plan. Advertising. Advertising plan. Mm -hmm. Our meeting lasted about two hours. Hours. I remember and remembered. I remembered an ad, advertising advertising a, advertising plan that worked worked five years years ago. And I su suggested we try that again. Okay. We needed to get the man manager's approval. Okay. Very good. Uh, we will try again. No mistakes. Let's review the pronunciation. Work it. No. Worked. Worked. Okay. Suggested. Work. Needed. Um, lasted, ok y aquí le he puesto la pronunciation advertising, así se pronuncia ok, y the pronunciation of this word let me put it here busy así, tal cual, busy ok, alright so Rosibel, let's try one more time desde el principio yesterday was so busy at the office I worked hard with my team. We developed it. Okay, hold on, hold on. Developed. Conté, developed. We developed, developed, conté. We mm -hmm. developed a new advertising plan. Advertising plan. Advertising. Advertising plan. Our meeting lasted about two hours. I remembered and remembered. I remembered an ad adver advertising plan that worked five years ago. And I suggest, su suggest suggest suggested suggested we try that again we need to needed. get needed we needed to get the managers approval 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 okay approval. let's try one more time Rosibel hasta que no nos salgan errores okay Just one more one more time aquí le he puesto mira la pronunciation en azulito okay acuérdese que el remember al final va con D, remember D, ¿ok? Y la pronunciación de este es suggested, suggested, así como se lee aquí, ¿ok? One more time, Rosibel. Yesterday was so busy at the office. I worked hard with my team. We developed, we developed a new ad advertising plan. Our meeting lasted about two hours. I remember an advertising plan 
that worked five years ago. And I suggested we try that again. We needed to get the manager approval. 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 Manager approval. 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 Okay. Approval. Okay, very good. So let's um, remember to reinforce más que todo estos sonidos, los que van con D, okay? Porque siento que eso se le olvidan. All right. Uh, let's study the D sounds, uh, Rosibel. And let me see, Walter, help me with the, with the paragraph. Siempre con el primero. Okay. Yesterday was so busy at the office. I worked in car with my team. We developed, we developed a new website. No, developed. We developed, we developed a new advertising plan. Our meeting lasted about two hours. I remembered an advertising plan to work five years ago. I and I suggested we try that again. We needed to get the manager's approval. Okay, beautiful. One more time. No mistakes, uh, Mr. Walter. Develop, as is a pronunciation, develop. Okay. okay, one more time. Okay, yesterday was so busy at the office. I worked hard with my team. We developed a new advertising plan. Our meeting lasted about two hours. I remember an advertising plan that worked five years ago. I uh, and I suggested we try that again. We needed to get the manager's approval. Okay, beautiful. Thank you, Walter. Uh, Eva, go ahead. The first paragraph. Yesterday, yesterday was a uh, busy at the office. I worked hard Work. with my worked hard with my team. We developed a new advertising plan. Developed. Developed. We developed a new advertising plan. Our meeting lasted about two hours, and I remember an advertising plan that worked five years ago. And I su suggested we try it again. We needed to get manager approval. The manager's approval. approval. Okay. Um, let's review. Eva, the pronunciation of this word. Repeat word. Word. Okay. Word. word. okay. This one. Developed. 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 Okay. This one repeats suggested. Suggested. Okay. Suggested. Beautiful. Now let's repeat the paragraph again. No mistakes, Eva. Go ahead. Okay. okay. Yesterday was so bus busy at the office. I worked hard with my team. We developed a new advertising plan. Our meeting last, uh, lasted about two hours. I remembered. Uh, remembered. 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 Repeat the. 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 Remembered. Remembered. Así, okay. remembered. No, continuo. No. no. Diga la palabra remember, solo remember. Remember. Y le agrega el sonido de. Remembered. Remembered. Ok, cabal, así. And advertising plan, advertising plan the work five years ago. And I suggested we try the again. We needed to get the manager approval. Manager's approval. Okay, one more time. Okay. Yesterday was a BC at the office. I worked hard with my team. Eva, we, worked. 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 No, worked. No, Aquí worked. está la pronunciation. Mira. One more time desde el principio. Okay. Yesterday was so busy at the office. I worked hard with my team. We developed a new advertising plan. Our meeting last 
uh, about lasted about two hours. I remember uh, an advertising plan that worked five years ago. And I suggest suggested. we suggested we try the we we try the again we needed to the manager okay. to get the manager approval the manager's approval okay Eva I need you to practice this a little bit more hay que practicar más los ED endings okay? okay so that's your personal homework you need to reinforce the ED endings Puede hacer readings. You can look for readings uh, with the ED endings on Google. So you can read them or listen the pronunciation para que nos, nos salga bastante bien en la entrevista esto, okay? Pero let's mm -hmm. reinforce this part. Um, okay. okay, Kevin, you go with the second paragraph, okay? Yeah, okay. We called him on the office phone. He admitted that idea seemed good, but he believed we should lower that the budget. budget. We reported our numbers to him and talked about the budget for a long time. Finally, he decided to give you the money we wanted. We wanted. Okay, beautiful. Thank you, Kevin. Let's go with Caro. Caro, the second paragraph as well. We called him on the office phone. We admitted that he that the idea seemed good, but he believed we should lower the budget. We report to our number on our numbers to him and told about the budget for a long time. Finally, he decided to give us the money we want to. Okay, uh, one more time. Pronunciation of cold, caro, cold. Okay, cold, cold. Okay. And then we have sim, repeat simmed. Sim, sim. Okay, be believed. Okay, repeat believed. Believed. One more time, believed. Believed. Okay, and I think that those are the only ones I heard mistake. One more time, Caro. Um, read the paragraph. Aquí les he puesto la pronunciation. Let's exaggerate the sounds, okay? okay? Go ahead. Okay. We called him on the office phone. Sorry. He admitted. Sorry. Okay, continue. Sorry. He admitted that the idea seemed good. But he believed we believed. should lower. Repeat, Caro. Believed. Believed. Be be believed. 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 We should. Es con believed. De. Believed. De. Believed. De. Believed. Believed. Uh huh. Believed we should lower the budgets. We report our numbers to him and talked about the suggest for a long time. Finally, he decided to give us the money we want. We want it. Okay. Caro? We want. A report termina con T. Entonces, the pronunciation is ED. Reported. Report. También tenemos decide. Decide termina con D. Entonces, the pronunciation is decide decided. 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 Okay. decided. Okay. Then we have la última want. Okay. Want termina con T. Por lo tanto, want. the pronunciation is wanted. O puede decir wanted. All right. Okay. okay. Let's review. Repeat, Carol. Cold. Cold. One more cold. time. Cold. Haga este sonido. Cold. De. De. Cold. 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 Okay. Repeat. Cold. Seemed. Seemed. Okay. Con de. Seemed. Seemed. Very good. Believed. 
Believed. Con D, con D, no con T. Believed. Believed. Okay, Believed. beautiful. Repeat, reported. Reported. Decided. Decided. Wanted. Wanted. Okay, beautiful. Wanted. Uh, one more time, Carol. Help me with the paragraph. Okay. <clears throat> we called him on the office phone. He re, he ad, admitted that the idea seemed good, but he believed we should lower the budget. We reported our number to him and talked talked about the budget a long time. Finally, he decided to give us the money we wanted. Wanted. Okay, very good. Thank you. Uh, can somebody do me a favor? Uh, can you take a screenshot of this? Así tal cual está con la pronunciation and send it to the WhatsApp group? Please. Thank you, Susana. And, okay, voy a revisar entonces los, los exámenes de la unidad, Susana, eh, porque cuando el día que subí notas no me aparecía. Si lo hizo después del día que subí notas, quizás por eso es que no aparece, pero voy a revisar, all right? And let's see, okay, so let me delete this. Okay, clear all drawings, and let's go to the next paragraph. Okay, Rodrigo, help me with the first paragraph. Okay, teacher. Uh, on the way home, I stop at the mall. I have mall. I stopped at the mall. I stopped at the mall. I have promised my daughter. Promised? No. Promised. Promised. I have promised my daughter a new MP3, uh, MP3 player for her birthday at the electronic store. I played song and listened for quality song. I decided to buy one at a medium price. Okay, very good. Let's review the pronunciations. Promise, okay. the pronunciation promised with T, okay? Promised, repeat. Hello? Uh, at promised. the beginning? No, 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 repeat, promised. Uh, Esta palabra, promised. Repeat. Promised. Promised. Okay. Promised. Okay, the pronunciation of this word is a key S. Okay, let's see. Played. Repeat played. Played. D. One more time. Played. Played. Okay. Eh, then vamos con esta. No es listened, sino que. Listened. Repeat listened. Listen. Okay, very good. Then let's go with this one is the decided. 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 Repeat. Decided. Decided. Okay, very good. So one more time. Repeat. Stop. Stop. Promised. Promised. Okay. Played. Played. Listened. Listened. And decided. Decided. Okay. Beautiful. Now help me with the paragraph. Con todo el paragraph. Okay. On the way home, I stopped 
at the mall. I have promised my promise. daughter. Uh, Prom promise. La intonación va en, en la O. Promise. Okay. I have promised my daughter a new MP3 player for her birthday. At the electronic store, I played song and listened for quality song. I decided to buy uh, one at a medium price. Medium price, okay. Medium price. One okay. more time, listened, con de, listened. Listened. Okay, okay, very good. So let's reinforce, please, the ED sounds, Mr. Rodrigo, okay? Uh, Glendy, help me with this paragraph, please. Uh, the first paragraph. Yes. On the way home, I stopped at the mall. I had promised my daughter a new MP3 player for her birthday. At the electronic store, I played songs and listen, played songs and listen for quality sounds. I decided to buy one at medium price. Okay, very good. Uh, let's reinforce the um, the pronunciation. Repeat, Candy. Stopped. Stop. This one promised. Promised. Okay. Estas dos van con D. So the pronunciation, D. this played. one is played. One more time, played. Played. Y esta listened. 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 Okay. And this one, repeat, decided. Decided. Okay, beautiful. One more time, help me with the paragraph. On the way home, I stopped at the mall. I had promised my daughter a new MP2 player for her birthday. birthday. At the electronic store, I played, played songs and listened for quality sounds. I decided the boy one at the medium price. Okay, very good. Thank you, uh, Glendy. Francisco, help me with the first paragraph. Okay. On the way, I stopped at the mall. I had promised my Promise. daughter. Promise. 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 My daughter a new MP3 player for her birthday. At the electronic store, I played some. For quality sound, I decided to buy one at a medium price. Okay, let's repeat, Francisco. Stopped. Stopped. Con la T al final. Stopped. Stopped. Okay, esta de promised lleva la intonation en la O. Promised. Promised. Y la del final son va con T. Promised. Promised. Okay. Estas dos terminan con ese sonido. D. D. Haga ese sonido. D. D. Ok. Played. Played. Ok. Beautiful. Listened. Listened. Ok. Very good. And the last one. Decided. Decided. Ok. Excellent. One more time, Francisco, from the beginning. Ok. On the way home, I stopped at the mall. I have promised. 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 I'm sorry. Promised. My daughter a new MP3 player for her birthday at the electronic store. I played sound and listened for listened. quality sound. Listened for quality sound. I decided to buy one at a medium price. Okay, very good. Repeat, Francisco, promised. Promised. Okay, listened. Listened. One more time, exagere el, el de, listened. Listened. Okay, excellent. One more time from the beginning. On the way home, I stopped at the mall. I had promised my daughter a new MP3 play for her birthday. At the electronic store, I played sound and listened for quality sound. I decided to buy one at 
a medium price. Ok, ok. Thank you, Frank. Eh, estos okay. sonidos con la D, tratemos de practicarlos más, ok? Ok. Thank you, eh, Nidalin. Help me with the paragraph, the first one. Okay. On the way home, I stopped at the mall. I had promised my daughter a new MP3 player for her birthday. At the electronics store, I played songs and listened for quality sound. I decided to buy one at medium price. Okay, okay, very good, thank you. Uh, hold on guys, I will take the first screenshot. Give me one moment. Um... Okay. All right, sorry guys. Let's go back to the presentation. Okay, um, Asu, help me with the second paragraph, please. Okay, when I got home, the kitchen was a mess at our house. We have agreed to clean up after ourselves. So I asked around to find out who had cooked last. That person turned out to be my son. While he washed the dishes, I sat at the kitchen table and talked to him about his school work. Okay, beautiful. No mistakes. Thank you, Asu. Uh, let's go with uh, Maria Jose. Help me with the second paragraph, please. Okay. When I got home, the kitchen was a mess. At our house, we have agreed to clean to clean up after ourselves. So I asked around five. Asked. Repeat. Asked. Asked. Conté. Asked. Conté. Te. Ask. O sea, la, di el verbo ask, ask. Y el final sound es T. Es asked. El sonido de la T. Asked. So I ask, ask, ask around to find out who had cooked last. Cook that last took last. That person turned out to be my son. Well, while I don't know. While he washed, while he washed, washed the dishes. I say I sat at the kitchen table and talked to him about his school work. Okay, hold on. Let me put the pronunciation for all of the words here. Okay, let's see. Mess, agreed, claim that, asked, cooked, turned, esta es, washed, washed. Talked. And talked. Yeah, talked. Talked. Okay. Okay. Um, tip for everybody. Para que los ED endings no les cuesten y les salgan bien, hagan como que la E no existe. Okay. Para las reglas de la T, el T sound y el D sound. Porque si no van a decir work it, clean it, wash it. Y no se dice así, right? Lo que hagan es que Dicen el verbo como en su base form y le agregan el sonido que corresponde. Acuérdense que los sonidos son dos, son ch, el de la T es ch, como una explosión, ch, y el de la D es D, 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 ese es el sonido de la D, siento que es el que más les está costando, el de la D. So, 
esto, por ejemplo, se dice agreed. Yo no digo agreed, sino que agreed. Asked, no, digo asked. Digo ask, que es el verbo base, ask, con el sonido de la K, y le agrego el T sound, asked. Se tiene que escuchar así, asked. Tengo cook, cooked, lo mismo, cooked. El sonido de la K y la T juntos. De luego tengo turn. En ese digo la palabra turn, así es la pronunciación, y le agrego el T sound. Turned, turned. Con wash, washed, washed. Y el último tenemos talked, talked, ¿ok? Prefiero que exageren los sonidos a mil a que no me lo diga, all right? Because if you don't exaggerate the sounds, se, se escucha como que no lo está haciendo, ¿ok? Si lo dice así como despacito, se escucha a veces como que no lo está haciendo. A veces el micrófono lo tenemos muy lejos o estamos solo con los speakers del teléfono y no alcanzamos a, a escuchar como la sensibilidad del sonido. Entonces, my advice, please exaggerate it as much as you can, ¿ok? Because as I said, guys, this is going to be evaluated in the interview. Necesito que le pongan mil a esto. Eh, Majo, one more time, please. Help me with the paragraph. Aquí tienen los pronunciation sounds. Okay. When I got home, the kitchen was a mess. At our house, we have a grill to clean up after ourselves. So I asked around, asked, ask, I don't know. Conte, bye. Haga ask. ese sonido conmigo. Repita conmigo. El sonido de la K. Repita. De la K. De la K, ajá. Ese es el sonido. Uh -huh. Bye. Very, very good. Después de ese sonido, ahora haga este. Así, como una explosión. Ahora los tiene que decir juntos. Así. Yo sé que es ridiculous, but let's say it. Así dígalo. Ask. Hello. Yes. Ok. Ask. Ask. Así, porque Ask. hay muchos sonidos con los CD que van así. Va una K y una T, por eso hay que aprenderlo bien. Asked, cooked, son dos sonidos. Talked, ese es otro. All right. So repeat, ask. Asked. Okay, asked. Okay, continue. I asked. So I asked around to find out who had cooked, cooked last. That person turned. 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 Out to be my son. While he washed, 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 con la washed. T, washed, 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 the dishes. I sat at the kitchen table and talked to him about his school work. Okay. Very good. Please reinforce the ED sounds. Eh, Majo, tratemos de practicar un poquito más para que nos eh, tengamos la correcta pronunciación de los EDs, ¿ok? Um, Diego, help me with the second paragraph, please. Second. When I got home, the kitchen was a mess. At our house, we have agreed to clean up after our slaves. Our, our slave. So I ask around to find out who I had cooked last. The person turned out to be son. While he washed the dishes and sat at the kitchen table and talked to him about his good work. Okay, very good. Um, Let's see who's missing. Um... Dora, help me with the last paragraph. Este último, esas dos líneas, please. Okay. Last year, he test into, tested. He tested into advanced program. And I want to see how he was doing. He's saying happy with it. 
he started telling me about his classes and what he learned that day. Okay, one second. I'm gonna put the pronunciation. Okay, give me one moment. Tested. Uh, advanced, advanced program. Advanced program, then want it. wanted to see how he was doing he seemed seemed happy he started okay started started he started Telling me about his classes and what he learned. 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 Okay. So, Dora, let repeat with me, please. Tested. Tested. Advanced. Advanced. Conte advanced. Advanced. Wanted. One it seemed seemed started started learned learned okay one more time advanced advanced okay now help me reading the paragraph with the correct pronunciation please okay last year he tested into advanced program and I want I want it and I wanted to see how he was doing he seemed happy with it he started telling me telling me about his place in what he learned that day okay very good um let's we have to reinforce a little bit more the ED sounds, okay, Dora? And in general, guys, I perceive, ustedes me dicen, pero I feel que el sonido que más les cuesta es el D, porque ese es el que le agregan la T, casi que todo lo que es con D le agregan T. Entonces, if that is the sound that we're having problems with, ese es el que tenemos que atacar más, okay? And how can we reinforce this? Just with practice, guys. Se fijaron en el, this exercise basically is make mistakes, correct, repeat. Make mistakes, correct, and repeat. Lea algo hasta que le salga, pero bien. Okay, que le salga bien. No que se siga equivocando, equivocando lo mismo. That is actually, guys, the only way that you can, you can improve. Ah, no les puedo decir que hay otra manera porque I don't really know it. Promise. Promise. There is no other way to improve other than correct, correct, repeat, and repeat. Okay? So, let me put the ED sounds in esto. Le voy a poner los sonidos a esto. And uh, les va a quedar a todos de tarea que you have to read it, read it, repeat it hasta que le salga bien. Y mañana lo vamos a leer otra vez. Okay? Because that's the only way que nos va a salir bien la pronunciation, guys. It's not that I want to, like, to bother you or to get bored. No lo quiero aburrir, pero de eso depende que pasemos. Y si no lo hacemos bien, no vamos a pasar. So, let's um, decide it. Let's see. Decided to buy one of medium flies. Creo que no me falta ninguna, right? Me puse todas. Quiero ver. Stopped, promised, played, listened, decided. And now I asked. Okay. Somebody please help me uh, take a screenshot of this and send it to the WhatsApp group. Y ourselves, ¿cómo se pronuncia? 
ourselves, okay. así como okay. lo dijo, ourselves, okay. ourselves, okay. ajá, okay. la es mudo, ourselves. Okay. Eh, thank you, Susana, and thank you, eh, Eva, también. Ahí tienen ya los dos para, párrafos, sorry. Susana sent the, the first one, and she also sent the second one. Así que ahí está the pronunciation for all of the paragraphs. Guys, this is really serious. It is very important that we, um, that we do this, that we learn this. Honestly, guys, I would like to know Quiero saber de su experiencia, de su conocimiento, qué es lo que les cuesta, digamos, conocer the endings para yo poder ver qué hacer y ayudarles. ¿Somebody? You're, you're cutting off, Diego. Se te escucha cortado. Yeah, I don't know why. O sea, la única. No, sí te escucho. Sí. Ok. No sé si estás con wireless eh, earphones or something. Igual cortado. I don't know why. Tiene los earbuds. Ah, pues por eso, desconectelo si quiere y con el speaker del, del teléfono intente, porque sometimes when you are with wireless siempre cortado I don't know if it's your internet si no apague la cámara turn off the camera Well, mientras Diego arregle el audio, uh, somebody else? Eh, en mi caso, Miss, yo creo que no identifico cómo pronunciarlo, qué, qué, qué es la, la, la última pronunciación de ID, T, eso creo que todavía no, no se me ha quedado todavía grabado, es lo que siento un poco difícil. Ok, solo son tres sonidos. Y son sonidos, guys. Hay que memorizarnos que son sonidos. El primer sonido es el de la T. Es t. Ese es el sonido de la T. t. Es como una explosión. T. Ese es number one. The second sound es el de la D. One more time. Es un sonido. El sonido es D. D. Ok. That's the sound. El último es id. Id. Ok. Son tres sonidos. La manera más fácil para mí, creo que si Omar mandó una lista con verbos que ahí tienen todos los, ya, la, ya tienen la pronunciación. Si lo único que tienen que hacer es basically memorize it and practice eh, para que pues se los puedan aprender, para no estar eso, haciendo eso, identificando el voice, desde el voice y que si vibra o no vibra, porque yo sé que eso lleva trabajo. Pero the, the list that she sent is actually a very good list, a very complete list. Entonces, eh, my advice would be that you um, dedicate a little bit more of time al tema. Si hay algo que nos cuesta, entonces a eso le tenemos que atacar más, ¿ok? Um, that would be my, my advice. Eh, si quieren, le puedo mandar como extra classes or extra videos about the ED endings para que puedan entenderlo un poco mejor y eh, puedan ejecutarlo porque yo creo que todos se saben las reglas. The point is that when we practice it, ahí es que cometemos los errores. Entonces, eso ya no es algo de que no sepamos la teoría, es que no lo estamos pronunciando bien. Y si la única manera que yo conozco para que podamos pronunciar correctamente es just practice. Practice, practice, practice. Así como hicimos con el ejercicio hoy, que se equivocó una vez, vuelvo a hacer. Se equivocó dos veces, vuelvo a hacer. That's the only way I know to improve something. Equivóquese cinco veces, pero hágalo hasta que le salga bien, ¿ok? Por eso les voy a dejar ese ejercicio de reading. Eh, María José mandó las dos, sí, no, Susana, perdón, Susana mandó las dos capturas de los dos párrafos con la pronunciation. Léanlo, repítanlo. Le voy a mandar cuando termine la clase un audio con la pronunciation de todo el párrafo para que escuchen y que puedan imitate, ¿ok? 
Um, y mañana lo vamos a leer one more time, ok, because I need you to improve in this part eh, Diego ya arregló el audio hello I think he's frozen yeah, he's not here eh, somebody else, any other comments we're all cool Diego, is your audio working now? Yeah, it's working, but yeah. era lo mismo que dijo este Francisco, ¿no? Que a okay. veces no sé cómo diferenciarlo, pero lo único que se diferenciar es el like, ID, you ¿no? Know? It's like accept it, mm -hmm. it, pero la mejor manera es como aprenderlo, aprender todos los días, ¿verdad? La mejor manera. It, that's, that's, that's the short way. Eso, yo se lo puedo aconsejar porque es como el camino más corto. Sí podemos como que identificar voice, voiceless sound y todo eso, pero ya más tiempo. It takes more mm -hmm. time. And I know that some of you, you have jobs, you take care of your kids, you have to go to the university, you do homework, you have your businesses. Entonces, sometimes I understand that you don't have time. So the shortest way, o sea, lo más corto, es como aprendámonos qué verbo va con qué sonido. And uh, I, I already said it, that there, one of your classmates sent a very complete list, tiene como una parte con los, con las regular verbs y ahí tiene como la pronunciation a la par. Ahí básicamente lo que tienen que hacer es like memorize it and practice it. So we can, we can improve in this area. Creo que el T sound a la mayoría no le escucho problemas, tampoco con el I de el que yo identifico que tienen problemas es con el D, porque ahí me dicen played en vez de decirme played. Entonces, acuérdense que el sonido es de, este, de. Como cuando las niñas fresas dicen da, y eso. Entonces, es el sonido de, de, ¿ok? Pónganse en el rol de niña fresa y diga de, 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 de. Repítalo, repeat it. Así les va a salir bien. En el consejo es que la E, cuando la vean, hagan como que no existe. Porque ahí cometemos el error de decir work it, play it. Entonces, that's not the correct pronunciation, sino que digo work played, así, es como decir el, el verbo en, en su forma base y le agrega el sonido que corresponde, worked, cleaned, played, listened, y así, así lo tiene que decir, and I will suggest you guys, lo que les decía, exaggerate the sounds, um, some of you received the class with earphones, o con, o con el speaker de su computer, o your cell phone, y a veces cuando no exageran no se escucha, ¿ok? Y puede que usted sí lo diga, pero yo no se lo escucho. Entonces, eh, I will please suggest you que you can exaggerate the sounds, o sea, haga fuerte el sonido para la entrevista, porque ¿qué pasa? Que si sí lo está diciendo, pero yo no se lo puedo escuchar, so I am going to give you the score como que no me lo está diciendo. Entonces, no queremos eso. Right, so please, exaggerate it. If you need help, si necesitan ayuda con la pronunciation de algunos sonidos, si digamos usted está como entre, no sé si este es con T o es con D, entonces mándemelo. Yo se los puedo mandar en un audio para que usted lo, lo sepa. You know that I'm very flexible. If I don't answer like in the same moment, it's because I'm busy in something, pero siempre trato de contestarles y de ayudarles en lo que se pueda. So please, my advice is going to be that. Um, let's learn the verbs let's improve the pronunciation y les queda de tarea a todos el reading este reading de, que vimos hoy please read it um, si quiere grábese, grábese y escúchese cómo está pronunciando para que pues pueda identificar usted mismo qué errores está cometiendo ahí les he puesto en las palabras azulitas están como what's the correct pronunciation for each verb eh, si ve que dice las tres T es porque va con T si ve que dice las, las D es porque tiene que decir D that sound eh, el T y D es suggested, wanted cuando vean la T alguna gente dice wanted otra dice wanted pero los dos están bien okay? both pronunciations are valid así que por eso no se preocupe pero sí let's reinforce the part of the id the id part ok um, do you have questions about the topic or any general question that you have, guys? 
Eh, yo solo una duda. Este, yes. Cuando vibra eh, es eh, cuando lleva al final ED. No, D. 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 Es que son tres reglas. No como D, ajá. Ya, yeah. la primera que no vibra. Cuando sí. no vibra lleva el ch, ese sonido, ¿ok? El, cuando D. vibra lleva el D, ese sonido, el D, el de la niña fresa, ¿ok? Y uh -huh. cuando termina, el, el último son, el último, la última regla no tiene nada que ver con los sonidos, tiene que ver con la palabra con la que termina el verbo. Si el uh -huh. verbo termina con T o con D, entonces ahí va a poner el id. Porque no tiene sentido que usted diga, digamos, want, want, ch, porque t, el t sound es un voiceless. Entonces no lo puede poner want, ch, ¿sí? Want Por eso se le pone el id. Entonces el último sonido, el del id, tiene que ver con las letras, o sea, con la palabra, con la letra con la que termina el verbo, ¿ok? No es con sonido, sino que es con letra. Eso si el verbo con... termina... Wanted, wanted, needed, eh, ese sí, ahí la E no es muda con esos sonidos. Ahí mm -hmm. sí tiene que pronunciarlo con, con, con id. Wanted, needed, rested, así. Como entre E y, y la I mezclada, algo entre así. Entre la E y la I, ajá, uh -huh. correcto. Yo, yo, okay. ok. Ok, guys, so if you don't have any other questions, I'm gonna finish with the class. Thank you so much for joining. Repasamos el. Um, el párrafo que les mandé, please. And tomorrow we will just quickly eh, teacher, read the paragraph. Yes? Este, para la actividad del viernes, fíjese que yo tengo cita con el niño este, en, en Cojute. Es a las uh -huh. siete y media, pero como se tarda como media hora, no sé si en realidad voy a estar aquí como a las diez. Eh, le decía por lo de, no sé cómo va a ser eso de, de la película. Entonces, si con, si, ¿con quiénes comenzaría? O sea, ¿con ese iniciaría? Eh, si ¿Quién es su grupo? grupo? Ya tiene grupo. Eh, Selina, Patricia. Eh, ok. Ah, pues lo voy a pasar de último. Ah, o yo le avisaría cuando ya esté aquí en la casa. Y también okay. el lunes eh, estaba diciendo que usted tenía cita. Entonces, igual yo también tengo que ir otra vez con mm. el niño a control. No sé si habrá no. clases o no. Mi cita es el 21, el miércoles. Ah, el, miércoles. Otro, el otro miércoles. Ah. Monday we have classes. Ajá, pero el lunes es aquí en Hilo Vasco, aquí donde vivo ah, yo. Okay. Espero okay. Estar, estar y si no, pues ahí. ahí le, okay. le no... Sí, no se preocupe. A I mí, mean, eh, si puede ser de oyente, that's ok. Si no puede, puede faltar. Usted o la verdad que nunca ha faltado, creo yo, a las clases. Ah, no, no, no le afectaría. Ok. Ah, ah pues, don't worry. That's ok. Ah, Any sí. other questions, guys? Sí. No questions? Okay. That so if great. you have questions, you can text me on WhatsApp. I'm gonna send you extra material for you to study the ED ending. Y les voy a mandar eh, la voice note más tardecito porque tengo que salir a hacer unos mandados eh, para que puedan escuchar la pronunciation y mañana pues nos salga bien el para. Okay? Have a okay. wonderful day, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye.